Hi everybody, my name's Nick. I own a hydroponics company here in Canada. And on today's video, we are gonna build a really simple aeroponics system in our basement. So come with me and let's see how cheap we can actually do it. We live in Alberta, Canada. It is March right now, it's 17 degrees, the sun's out-ish, but it isn't always like that. Five months of the year, the weather's like this, but we can still grow inside. So let's go on and build our aeroponics unit. I picked up these 47 litre containers from Canadian Tire, they're Mastercraft brand. So what I did was I measured two inches up from the bottom because this is where we're gonna put half inch tank fittings in. Quarter turn is all that's necessary to make these tight. You don't want to go any more than that, otherwise you might introduce a leak, and we certainly don't want that. We're going to grow carrots in this one, so I've 3D printed these. I'll put the files for all 3D prints in the description below if you want to try it. After setting those up on each location, we're now going to drill some holes for two inch net pots. I've also got some, some files for a different shape net pot if you want to have a go at those and they're made specifically for the easy plugs that you actually see on the left hand side of the screen there. Again, nice clean holes, that's what we're kind of going for. Even spacing wherever possible. So the easy plugs I had left over, and I wanted to make use of them, so use this net pot design and trim the bottom off. I always like to leave a gap at the bottom of the net pot so the roots can come out nice and quickly. After tidying up the location with a bit of black plastic, I then went about joining all those half inch tank connectors together and 3D printed some end plugs so that I can actually section some of them off if I want to. Again, files in the description for the 3D printing. And I happen to have a very cheap misting kit. This just came straight from Amazon. What I then did was designed a little holder for the misting nozzles themselves, file in the description. I ended up modifying those holders just to get them pointed up a little bit. But after applying some glue to the side of the tubs and the 3D printed misting nozzle holders, I went about lining them all up and getting them fitted. Make sure you use a glue that's suitable for the plastic that your containers are made of. So again, I had to unscrew the actual misting nozzle and the fitting, put them through and then put the misting nozzle in. It keeps them in place. It's a really kind of neat little design. Then I just wanted to test that everything works. So I went about connecting the nozzles up with some pipe work. In the end, before actually getting this running, I did a nice simple loop going from one side all the way along and then along the other side. But I had these pumps and some old PCBs from a previous project left over. This is a 40 PSI 12 volt C-Flow pump. I wanted to see if I could get these to work. So, you know, a bit of modification. These PCBs run on Arduino or Python. Uh, used the code and started connecting everything up. And for the most part, it worked really well. But as you can tell, it's really loud. That pump is really, really loud. So. I just went on and use a Miss King standard pump. This is the lowest price pump that Miss King offer, but it's a very well-known brand for this kind of thing. They're actually used for animal enclosures and they use them in zoos as well, not this side pump. Then after figuring out that the PCB wasn't gonna work, I bought this BN link, which is a timer where you can set the amount of time that that power supply runs and for how long. And that's essentially if you're gonna do this. This is the power cable for the light that I'm going to use, and it's an 8-foot T5 LED grow light. Nice and cheap, get these on Amazon. I used some 3D printed wall hooks and mounted the light on there. I used a TP-Link smart plug to control the light. Then what I did is start transplanting in just a couple of plants that I had growing in one of our other units. So a tomato plant went in there, and eventually a basil plant goes in there. But as you can see, all the nozzles blocked up 
almost immediately. Again, these are really cheap. So I went and got some new nozzles, replaced all of them, and perfect, as you can see, we're good to go. Then, once I determined that everything was working, I went about moving the Miskin pump down where it needs to be. Miskin pumps need to be gravity fed. So while they do prime up to two feet, it, it will not work well above that because you get lots of air being pumped around the pipe and that will stop your mist working properly. So make sure that you do gravity feed your high pressure pumps if you're gonna do an aeroponic system. I bought this fitting here and it just happens to fit beautifully inside a half inch silicon tube, push that in and secured that with a pipe clip or a jubi clip depending on where you are in the world. And what that did is that enabled me to come out the bottom of that Mastercraft plastic container and fit a quarter inch pipe straight into the end of it. That goes into the feed side of the Miss King pump and it's good to go. $315 and we've got a lot of growing space. I'll stop talking and let you watch the rest of the video, but I hope you give this one a try. It's a really easy introduction to aeroponics and something that everyone can do. There we go, nice and easy. Aeroponics in your basement. You don't need to have any garden space whatsoever. With our transplanted tomato and basil in there, we're gonna leave those to grow. But if you wanna see what else we can grow in our aeroponics unit, make sure to like and subscribe and follow us along on our journey.